show that I'm not getting any kind of preferential rate here. Just the ordinary exchange place and I'm going to change £10. So here's my £10. Okay. 444 baht. 444 baht, there it is. Now that works out at 44 baht a day approximately. So for seven days I've worked out that I should have 310 baht. 310 baht, that's what I've got to spend. Let's go shopping. Okay, so this is uh, super cheap across the road. This uh, Chinese five spice powder is only uh, 14 baht, so I think I might buy that. And they've also got this dried garlic. You can use that in a lot of things. It's only 10 baht. Great value. Rice, only 30 baht. Flour, again, only 30 baht. This is the uh, other fairly cheap supermarket. Well, very cheap actually. Macro is called. There's macros all over Thailand. Um, I got this uh, cabbage, uh, carrot, and all this chicken as well. I'll just get the last few items here, and it is big C. It's noodles. This is 63 baht for all of those. They call Happy Grace, which is their own brand, and it's really cheap. Look at all that soy sauce. It's only 14 baht. I shall certainly help myself down. There's no way I'm going to use all of that. 14 baht. Seven of those rows there, seven times three. That means I have one, two, three of those every day. So that is great value 63 baht and then um, I ran out of money really I got two onions quite big I wanted to get a, quite a few potatoes but I only managed to get one so there we go so this is all the food that I got for 310 baht that's seven pounds <laughs> that you can buy the basics for one pound a day in Thailand. So we're going to cook all the mints first. To do all the cooking, all I really need is this electric heater. It cost about a thousand baht and I've had it three years. Maybe two knives and a spoon and that's about it. Chopping board. This was actually just over 500 grams of minced chicken and um, more than I was expecting. A little bit of water in. Surprisingly large amount of fat has come off that mince. Just look at all that. So that's how much mince I got. And that's got to last a week. It's going to give it more flavor and uh, stops it being completely vegetarian. Store that away. I'm going to cut it up into very thin strips, like that, as thin as you can get it, chop it in half like that, that's going to last me a week, use some of that every day, it took me about five minutes, 
So I'm sure you've all seen these things. These uh, sort of pack of instant noodles. They are relatively cheap, but when you think how little you get for that, I'm going to do a mega version of this, which is really cheap, really fast to cook, and uh, it's really going to fill you up and show you that you never need to buy these things again. Unfortunately, I've discovered that one of the onions is not the best, but this is the cards that you dealt with. So what's a seventh of that? I'll store this, this is what we're going to use. It's the same process with the cabbage. Pretty close to seven equal pieces. So if we take the smallest one on the basis that we don't want to be left with nothing on the last day. So cabbage and onion stored away for the rest of the week. And that's what I've got for today. I'm just going to use a little bit of this mince. I need to chop up this cabbage, chop up the onion, the other things go in, and it's so easy to make. It's really quick as well. So here's the method. Boil some water, put fat or oil in the pan, chop up the onion and the cabbage, add a spoonful of the chicken mince, fry the onion with dried garlic and chicken mince in the oil. Keep stirring it. While you're doing that, take the boiling water. So I'm going to take three of these. This is going to be loads, by the way. One, two, and you can see already how much food I'm going to get. But I like these to be sort of broken up. This already comes with some kind of flavoring on it, actually. Put in quite a bit. And it doesn't look like much, but Think how much you get to add to one of those little square packs of noodles. Compare it with that. Now add some of the water with the noodles to the pan. About that much. Depends how spicy you want it. Whoops. I haven't used this one before, but the smell it's absolutely amazing to taste, really, as much as I want. Don't know what it's going to be like. I hope it's as good as it smells. So now we add the noodles. In we go. It's a bit difficult doing this one-handed. If you've ever tried cooking one-handed, you will appreciate. Mix this up now. Mix it up well. To this, we now add soya sauce. Add to taste, really. Um, it is quite salty soya sauce, though. It does add a lot of flavor, but um, you maybe don't want to put too much in. It's almost done, almost done. The cabbage goes in last. And again, mix this in well. you see how much you're gonna get this is for one day and this is only one meal of three it's incredibly fast incredibly cheap but the most important thing is how does it taste Let's see what it's like oh wow eat it in the pan save washing up everything easy look how delicious it was that's how much I, I couldn't eat. Never mind, don't waste anything. Tasty snack for tomorrow morning. So now we get to the uh, evening meal, which is going to be a curry.
It's excellent. It's very good. I can't promise it's the most delicious food you've ever had, but you are not going to be hungry. That, I guarantee you, you will not get hungry. Look at the size of that plate. Bon appetit. See you tomorrow. Schmeida sape. Served with a nice Chianti. <laughs> so it's the next morning and um, we're going to make some garlic bread. And uh, I've got that left over of noodles also to have. So I'm not going to be hungry at all. Last night I couldn't even finish the, uh, the curry. Right, I've got to make a confession. I am going to cheat just a little bit by adding a tiny little bit of oil, okay? This oil is very cheap, it's only 18 baht for this, and I'm going to use just a tiny bit of it. I mean, this is like 2 bar. Also, I'm going to put a tiny bit of yeast. Now, you can use baking powder like this, which is also very cheap and I'm only going to use a tiny bit okay still got the garlic in with the flour okay so we just add water not too much you don't want it really 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 soggy and now it's time to get your hands sticky Mix it in. Going to need some more water. What I'm actually doing here is going back to the way our ancestors used to survive. It's how we stopped being hunter-gatherers and started farming the land. And I'm using the staple diet that kept us alive. Bread. Now in, in Asia, rice. All I'm doing is just going back to our roots. Very simple, simple cooking. So it should start forming together into dough, into a great big ball of dough. Now you can add all kinds of other things. I can also make a really nice and inexpensive cake by adding sugar and egg and raisins. Very easy to do that. I've done this one-handed while filming myself at the same time, and uh, which shows how easy it is should look something like this now it's really nice now just knead it in mix the garlic into it so you should up, end up with something like that and look at the size of it now we're going to leave it for an hour maybe two hours just leave it so it's about uh, one and a half hours later let's see what happened to the Oh, one and a half hours a year to yeah, it's bigger and uh, ready to go. So, time to make breakfast. Put it on a chopping board like this. Now it's a question of dividing the dough up into seven. Uh, I'll take the smallest looking one, which is maybe that one, so that I'm not cheating. Okay, so that's breakfast for the next six days after today. So the one left over, we're going to knead it like this. Could use a rolling pin, but I can't be... I don't have one, so uh, just using my hand. A la caveman. Or cavewoman. All those millennia ago. Heat up the pan with the oil that I had in earlier. quite a low heat and keep turning it so it doesn't burn there's nothing quite like the smell of homemade bread cooking in the morning for breakfast nothing like it and really healthy as well so there it is put it on a plate
so there we go noodles garlic bread cup of coffee that's not a bad breakfast mm, fantastic really really nice I'm very filling I'm, I'm not joking this really is fantastic I'm not putting this on for the camera it's utterly delicious and if you have a leftover bread you can also put that into the curry as kind of like dumplings um, that also is nice if you have anything left over I'm already full I'm gonna get fat on this one pound a day food and the great thing is that the cooking is virtually done for the rest of the week now I don't it's very little to do now it's just heating stuff up basically mmm delicious try it so I've got to the end of the week yeah I can honestly say that at no stage during the week have I ever been hungry um, some days I didn't cook the three meals because I wasn't hungry enough and let me show you how much I've got left so the noodles there was at least one day when I uh, didn't actually cook any and so I've got about six of those still left I've only used a tiny portion of this soya sauce as you can see I've still got most of this Chinese five spice powder left I have hardly used the ground chili there is oh 70 percent of it left I've used quite a lot of the garlic it's gone down to that much still have this much cabbage left over still have this much onion left over still have all these carrots left and still a lot of chicken compare that with that 